Hey, Nate, with John being out, um, you know, a week, two weeks, but however much longer he's out, um, just how tough is that on you guys as y'all are trying to, you know, finish strong here? You know, it's certainly a, a challenge, you know, uh, for the team, you know, you lose your second uh, best player in the sense of stats, uh, you know, 17 points, um, eight, nine rebounds a game, you know, really that, you know, John is our spiritual leader, you know, he brings a lot of energy so that, you know, that's a, that's a big loss to us, but, you know, again, it's uh, part of uh, the game injuries like that, uh, you know, there are opportunities for some other guys to uh, step in and play and we got to be ready to play. How have you talked to John and just how, how is he doing like mentally knowing, I know he wants to be on the court, obviously, and you guys want him on the court. Just how, how is he doing um, mentally wise? And, and is he going to be on the bench, you know, as that leader still? Well, it was, it's just tough for him, you know, uh, when he came back, you know, he knew uh, that, uh, you know, he was in some pain and uh, he came back and had a good game. And uh, I think the, the, the next game is when he uh, injured his finger and uh, was trying to play through that pain and just really trying to go through uh, making the decision whether to try to play um, and, uh, you know, and, 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 and be out there for us. Uh, but not hurt the team, you know, so those are the things that he uh, has been battling really the last two weeks, you know, he went to get a second opinion on uh, both injuries and, uh, you know, found out that he needs to, you know, take some time off. So that's where we are. Uh, of course, he's disappointed, you know, he wants to be out there with his teammates and uh, help it in any way that he can. And, uh, you know, I, I think this was good for him to, uh, you know, get uh, another opinion on uh, his injury so that he can make the decision whether to uh, try to continue to play or give it some time. Then you look at the Timberwolves, um, four wins in a row. They're they're playing really, really good basketball right now. What do you see for them and what are your expectations again, going up against them tonight? Well, Memphis, I mean, they're, they're, they are um, playing really good, good basketball and um, you know, probably one of the hottest teams in the league. You know, uh, when you when you look at their stats, uh, there's a lot of number ones in there. You know, fast break points. Um, you know, uh, points in the paint. Um, you know, defensively. Uh, you know, block shots. You know, so they are uh, playing good basketball on both sides of the of the floor. And um, you know, what we have to do tonight is is it's got to be a load game. You know, they attack your paint. They keep pressure on you in transition. Uh, they keep pressure on you in the half court with uh, their attacks, uh, attacking the paint, trying to force the defense to collapse. And, and then they will kick it out for the three-point ball. So, uh, you know, they're going to be playing 10, 11 guys. Uh, they're going to be bringing a lot of energy. And we have to match that energy. Um, and, you know, the main thing is keep them in front rebounds so that we can get out into transition and look to uh, be the aggressors against them. Uh, Nate, how's Trey feeling today? Trey is going to be uh, both Trey and Gallo are game time decisions. Nate, oh, just a couple of things about John. It, the When he walked off the court in a San Antonio game, that was the beginning of it. Mm -hmm. That's when the, the foot problems began. Is it two weeks to heal or is it two weeks to look at it again because that's going to be april 1st we have like five games left at that yeah. point it, th that's when uh they will uh uh talk about his injury again so we're not uh, i don't think we're saying in two weeks he will be back uh we will reevaluate him in two weeks Anybody else? Yeah, all right.